the first couple of days of touring takes a bit to sort of get everyone together. The bus left Toronto and I had to drive across the country. Um, and then I, my week was a whirlwind with the Junos. I came straight from the Junos. It was great. It was also my first Junos, a lot of firsts this year. Um, and it, the energy around the actual performance, the actual night of the Junos was great. Like stepping out of our white limousine and then, you know, all the fans screaming at the top of their lungs. It was fun. It was definitely a dream come true. And then seeing all the other artists up close, I always just like look at how small they are. <laughs> That's what I always do. But uh, no, it was great. It was so fun. It's all right. This time around, we're using a tour bus, and I gotta say, it's like heaven compared to a van. And I was this close sticking the van into a van. They were like, please, Susie, no. And um, it, it makes a big difference. It's like just having a home to travel in. It's kind of scary, but it's also, you know, it's a nice, it's been a whirlwind of a year, and an amazing one, and a crazy one. And my album got released a year ago, two days ago. So, um, this is just a great way to sort of, I feel like I'm thanking my fans and sort of saying goodbye to an old project. I'm starting my new record now and that'll probably be released in the fall. So it's just, it all has the right meaning and the right timing. I always knew that Believe was a, a really special song and everyone who was involved in that first album knew that as well. That was sort of the song that brought us all together because when I sang it, it sounded so great. And, um, you know, I had a, a weird sort of a, a cliche situation when I was living in L.A. The people I was working with it sort of fell through and that only made me more determined to make it, you know, even on my own if I had to, which is funny because that's kind of what the song is all about. But I always, I, I always thought this song needs to be somewhere, and it was actually myself and a friend who, who had the idea to bring it to the Olympics. We thought it's perfect. The Olympics are in Canada, so yeah, I always knew, and I followed that vision. And it's just funny that song is like living itself out in my life. So it's cool. If you just believe. I sang jingles for a while before Rockstar. I don't really have time to do them now, but I, uh, hopefully I'll get back into them. And I got the call to do the Marine Land, and I was like, why you guys get Marine Land commercials out here? They come from the land of ice and snow. And it plays so much over and over. And when I was on Rockstar, a friend of mine, I, I had two commercials at that time, Marine Land and then a Chapman's ice cream commercial. And he said he would watch Rockstar, and so he'd watch me on TV, and then the commercials would come on, and it would be me again. It's hilarious. But uh, I love having that. It, it's, you know, it reminds everyone of their childhood, and I like being the Marine Land girl. <laughs> I'm proud. Everyone loves Marine Land. <laughs> Your city, what local TV should be. Weeknights at 6 p.m. on City TV.